Oh, today is a really sad day for gaming. On Friday, Game Informer announced that they are closing their books. They are completely shutting down and it was announced in a tweet that went out on friday august 2nd and you can see their farewell message both on the tweet and on the website it reads the final level farewell from game informer after 33 years of bringing you the latest news reviews and insights from the ever-evolving world of gaming it is with a heavy heart that we announce the closure of game informer from the early days of the pixelated adventures to today's immersive virtual realms we've been honored to share this incredible journey with you our loyal readers while our presses stop the passion for gaming that we've cultivated together will continue to live on this is really devastating no matter who you are as a gamer whether you're new to gaming or whether you're old to gaming game informer was the pre-online era of news reviews and talking points there are so many memories that i personally had with game informer between Game Informer and Nintendo Power Magazine, these two were just my summer reading. They were, like, I, I can remember issues of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes and their deep dives of, uh, of games like this, Metal Gear Solid 4, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Elder Scrolls. Like, there were a, there were a lot of issues that were really great in-depth pieces. And in addition, it was really cool when they had a fan art piece they they would have all these drawings that fans would do they would have the top three fan arts that people send in and they were really cool to look at a lot of them were very funny a lot of them were very clever i can remember one from probably 2007 probably 2008 maybe a fan drew sam fisher and he was talking to a guy saying if you call this a horse one more time i'm going to kill you and it was like it was great. There was uh, there was obviously a lot more, but in addition to their content, I, their their covers were just outstanding. I mean, I, I still have a stack this big of Game Informer magazines that I had even somewhat recently. There was a time where I just kind of just didn't subscribe for a while, and then I was all like, you know what? I haven't done a Game Informer magazine in forever, so I had a year subscription, and I believe the last one I have now is is Jedi Fallen Order. So another thing is that this game is not only a surprise to us, but also, I believe, to Game Informer itself. If you were to go to the Game Informer website itself, it really is just the landing page, like, the, the same as the tweet that just happened sa saying farewell to Game Informer. There is unfortunately no backlog of any of the previous months of Game Informer. And that's a really sad way to go. There was no mention of selling off this company. There is no... There is no anything like you could have kept... They could have kept the legacy alive. GameStop, its owner, could have kept the legacy alive with... with Game Informer, but you know, there's just nothing other than the physical copies of magazines that we have at our homes. So ah, it's really hard and it's really devastating to hear this news, unfortunately. If you're a dad gamer out there and you grew up with Game Informer magazine in the era before we had YouTube videos like this one, before we had websites like IGN, like Kotaku, like GameSpot and stuff like this was like our childhood and it's it's really it's really sad to see the, these guys leave especially on these terms if you have a story with game informer i share it down in the comments below i want to know your favorite issues your favorite fan art your favorite covers and stuff let me know what your stories are in the comments section below to to anyone working for game informer we wish you well we hope that you are able to find good work somewhere else and uh, our heart our hearts go with you and you you're really the goat I mean like there's nothing really more to be said I mean the the work you guys did at Game Informer is amazing so let me know in the comment section below your favorite Game Informer memory and ah uh, man we'll see you in the next one